deserve the hard hat. Um, it's kind of like you can expect to see this the rest of this the rest of the. You know what I loved about this game though, Kyrie was amazing, amazing, and the idea that he can play at this level for another three, four, five games, I don't think is real. The Celtics, I think what they came into this game thinking was, look, Kyrie's going to get his points. We get that. But we're not going to let Durant get comfortable because Durant can beat us by himself. They don't believe Kyrie can beat them by himself. Right. I, that's to me. You, he you, almost you did, gotta, though. <laughs> you got to pick your poison with those two guys. One of them is going to go off every game. And the Celtics clearly, in their mind, believe that if Kyrie goes off, we still have a pretty good shot of winning. If Durant goes off, not so much. Um, but again, this was a great this was a great game, though. I mean, hey, both. Sherrod, I, I thought, what's up? That's kind of why I thought they needed to pull this one off because you got a, You got a bad Durant. You know, you know, all things considered, what he's capable. Can you of. hear me, Jimmy? Unfortunately, yes, we can now hear you. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, you're good. Sure. What do you think? What do you think about this being kind of like the way it was shaping up? I felt like this needed to be a must win. Like if they lost this one. With the lead they had, with the way Durant was playing, if they let this one slip away, I just don't know. I don't know how they recover from something like that, really. I, know, well, I, don't I think they, right? I, yeah, I don't think you're being overly dramatic for once, which is different because you usually are. But I, I do think this was a big win for them, and I do like the fact that it came down to the wire. Because remember, during the regular season, the Celtics struggled in games like this that were decided in the last minute or last few seconds. It has not been their forty. So for them to have a game like this where Kyrie has a huge game. That bench uh, for Brooklyn, I don't think people realize how good they were tonight. First half, their bench was 8 for 10 shooting. And I, I, can't, I don't know what the, the final numbers are, but they were really, really good. Yeah, really that good. was that was the thing. It's, again, you know, I, and I agree 100% sure. I think that's overlooked a little. I know they haven't been great, but, like, this notion that Brooklyn is just two guys, like, yes, no. sort of. Like, they're two guys. Drummond is serviceable there in the middle. They've gotten good efforts out of oh. Bruce Brown. Uh, obviously, Curry is a shooter. You have roles. But, like, you know, Claxton is athletic. He had a lot of putbacks there when you don't have an they're interior two presence. guys, John. They're that like two and a half guys. That hurts you. What I'm saying is you have Patty. He can knock down – Dragic can knock down shots. They haven't been great, but, like, the Celtics bench is – White, Grant, and Pritchard. It's not like right. they're world beaters. So, like, right. it's not a huge – without Rob here, and when you have Tice thrust into the starting lineup, it's – the rosters are pretty similar. Two stars – I mean, you're – Horford and Brad, Horford and Smart are going to make way bigger contributions than That's anybody the else in the starting next lineup in the net starting in the net starting lineup. No question well, about the, that. The, the thing about it, John, is that I thought – Pretty much, other than Kevin Durant, I thought everyone on Brooklyn's team played as good as they're going to play. And so, if nope, that's the I case, if I think that's beat, fair. If yeah. you can Rounding, beat them when yeah. pretty much everyone except Kevin Durant is playing at their best or damn near close to it, and you're looking at your roster, Grant Williams didn't have a good game. I didn't think Derek White had a good game. Pritchard, man, he was, wasn't bad, didn't suck, but he wasn't great. And again, most of your role players were average at best, and yet you still found a way to win. To me, this is a this is much more of a confidence boosting win for the Celtics than I think it is for Brooklyn. Because if you're Brooklyn, you're gonna go back and look at the film and realize, damn, we did a lot of good, good things. Our defense didn't totally suck. We got contributions from our bench, and we still couldn't seal the deal. Yeah, I mean, there's I I, I agree with you mostly, Shred. I thought I thought. Brown on, on Brooklyn didn't have a great game. I think maybe he I don't think I, talking. I, I'm not um, to cut you off, not to cut you off, Jimmy, but I, I think Bruce Brown, this is pretty much how it's gonna be for him most of the series. I don't think he's gonna be a guy that's gonna make a significant impact. Right. Well then, yeah, I mean, that, but I would say throughout the course of the season, he's had more of an impact than he had tonight. I guess that's. I just yeah. can't believe. I just. I mean, well, again, on. it's Claxton, Dragic. I mean, really, we're gonna think like Dragic's. No, we're draw. not. All I'm saying is like I game. do think. I, I do think I'm not worried about those guys. All I'm saying is the Celtics don't have a bench that's scaring people either. So it is close to a wash there, but your starting lineup has to just, I mean, crap. If the Celtics didn't miss, how many layups did the Celtics miss here? You know, I, too, yeah, many. So many. too many. Too many. You're, I would agree with Sherrod in the sense that like, I don't think it's the Nets best punch, but it's not that far because outside right. of Durant, that's about it, and, and I yeah. and I don't disagree there because Dragic has been in friggin' mothballs. He hasn't done anything for them. Right. So, so I mean, kind of... you know, this is whatever. Uh, so 
that's that. But I mean, look, you got a 2015 game from Al. You had Marcus Smart knocking down threes left and right. Celtics yeah. certainly got big performances right. out of people too. But right. um, you know, I I do wonder how much more Brooklyn has in the. Guys. I do wonder how much more Brooklyn has that they can offer here. Um, that's going to make it, you know, tougher because Brooklyn, that's Brooklyn, it, you know. Brooklyn right, and, and plus, and, and, and they don't, don't play much, defense. Right. Now, I don't know how much you guys talked about Tatum already, but I mean, his game plan okay. was brilliant brilliant i mean first half he's trying to get confidence in his other guys to get going and that helped al i thought it helped you know uh, marcus a little bit and then as the game progressed he became much more assertive offensively i think at one point in the broadcast where he had made a field goal they were complaining about him not going to the cup and like literally seconds later he finishes at the rim it's like tatum is figuring out the cheat code on how to become a great player. And we're watching it in real time. And, and again, I thought he had just an absolutely brilliant game, the way he was attacking offensively. I thought defensively, I thought he had too many breakdowns. I thought this was not a great defensive game for Tatum. because I mean, some of those drives that Kyrie Irving had to the basket when Tatum was guarding him is inexcusable. I mean, it, it's as if Tatum thought that Rob was back there. Because if Rob was back there, that's different. Maybe he was having some flashbacks, uh, but he's got to be better defensively, particularly when he's matched up against Kyrie. But overall, I, I thought they did a great job. And at the very end, when they blitzed Kyrie to make sure he couldn't get that last shot off, uh, again, the Celtics, from a coaching standpoint, from their best player standpoint, I thought they had the better game. And like we were talking about earlier, I don't know how much more – Brooklyn can do other than Kevin Durant having a better game, but you got to believe if he plays better, you're probably not going to get the level of contributions from that yeah. bench. You're not going to get 39 yeah. Kyrie probably either if Durant's playing, you know, shooting a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, that, what so. I will say, yeah, and Tatum was great, um, but the you know, a little in that fourth, they got to him with some of those doubles, was a little slow passing out when they went dead stagnant there. You know, again, Celtics just if they stay with what they're doing and move it and move it and move it they'll get their shots against these guys and yeah. they have to attack aggressively. I do think the only knock I'll have is, you know, I, I think sometimes when you have a defender on you that you think has no business guarding you, you get eyes like this and then you're like, I'm just going to, but that requires a little bit of dribbling and a little bit of setup and all of that stuff. And I do think they kind of got into that a little bit. Um, and, Brooklyn clearly in the second half was like, I'm going to double the crap out of this guy. Um, and they were just, but you could see those guys waiting. He's just got to pass out of that quick and relocate yeah. and just keep it moving, keep it moving. Cause they'll get whatever they want. Someone else will get it. Someone else will get a good look. You'll get it in a better place. Don't yeah. fall into those hero ball traps. You watch another guy on their side, do it. And then you're like, give it to me. Avoid that at all costs. If they do that, they're fine. That's, that's yeah. the stuff you don't want to see them fall into yeah i didn't think they were as aggressive as they needed to be no off they could the ball when tatum yeah. had the ball like tatum he's getting blitzed and you should be aggressively trying to get to the ball so he can get you the ball yeah. i didn't think they did a good they enough weren't. job with that for the yeah. for the most part but again um game one they haven't played in damn near a week uh and you got the win that's all that's all you want at this point is just stacking wins that's it um that's entirely I, it i, I want to say a few things one the way Brooklyn came out was so damn sloppy, and the Celtics had every opportunity to really take a healthy lead, and they just yeah. couldn't. They just couldn't cash in on the, some of those turnovers. I mean, credit to their it's like seven defense. in the first quarter, something like that. Yeah, Celtics defense was great, like on ball defense, you know, poking the ball away, getting steals, but they just couldn't convert on the other end. Kept Brooklyn alive in that first. You know, there was a one point game in the end, end of one, and it was tied at halftime. So. You really didn't. You really didn't cash in on those extra possessions that you had. That third quarter was a different story. Marcus Smart came alive. I really want to talk about Marcus Smart, and I really want to talk about Al Horford. Those two guys. Are you guys really, haven't talked about, about Marcus Smart yet. We've no, talked no. a little bit about everything. I mean, look at the end of the Sherrod, day, bit all over the place. Sure, all you, over the place. You could give a Brownie report to Al. Brownie, Brownie award to Al for yeah. the first half performance smart for the second half tatum for the overall Je brown for his defense late right. you know jalen brown yeah. this is one of jalen brown's better defensive games would you say i would agree i would agree you know and that that was enormous so like i could give brown the brownie just for the defense alone you know um sure. so it, it, i mean well, now, honestly that and that's the type of team these their guys four best players be. played played big you right. know yeah right and and that's what's gonna take them to that next level because they don't have you know they're not top, they're not as top heavy as as they need to be. So they need to spread out that wealth the way they did tonight. So 
Al Horford, to me, I mean, he probably gets my Brownie Award, edging it over Smart, just because he came out hot in the, right off the bat in the first quarter, hit a couple threes. His, he was all over the place on the boards, and and he, he took he, he definitely took some offense to what to what um, Bruce Brown. Oh, you could said. tell. Yes, Al Horford, throw some respect on my man Al Horford's name, <laughs> Bruce Brown. Damn. Al you know, was. Bruce Brown in, didn't know what he was. Yeah, you know, this was. He's getting this some was daggers like Al from, This was like Al five years ago. Right. Tonight. Um, and you could tell that Al had a different kind of edge about yeah. him from the outset. Oh, yeah. And there's absolutely no doubt in my mind. As much I, as I, Al tried to downplay what Bruce Brown said, he was pissed. Oh, he yeah. was so. He's got pride. Oh, yeah. right Hi, Josue. Hi, buddy. What's going on, fellas? What's up, Joe Sway? Keep going, Sherrod. You're spitting fire right now, man. No, I'm just saying. I mean, Al, I, just, I couldn't tell Joe Sway was ready. He was kind of looking at himself. He's like, no, oh, I know. I mean, it's only been like it's only been no, eight minutes, but you know, that's I've been staring at you with the <laughs> with the camera shooting up your nose. I didn't know if you were ready. Joe Sway, jump in here, man. We haven't heard from you <laughs> yeah, yet. I mean, so he's one. not ready, but no, nah, man. I, I love exactly what you said. Well, this is about six minutes ago, but I, I love what you said about the fourth quarter execution because I was thinking the same thing, Sherrod. I'm like, man, here we go again. Are they going to go back to hero ball? Are they going to be able to come up with these stops? I thought what they did against Ky- I mean, what they did against Durant was effective. But they were letting Kyrie go and dance all over the court, and that's exactly what he was doing. Those back-to-back three-pointers got them back into it, and he kept hitting harder shots down the stretch. However, I don't know, guys. Between Al Horford and Marcus Smart, look, I know Tatum got the game winner, but one of them had to get the Brownie Award because, look. I got to give it to Marcus Smart. Smart, to have the pa- – yeah, I think I'm with you, John. To have the patience, right, to not only dribble through defenders – to not only, you know, give up the, 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 the open look, but to have just enough time to make that pass to Jason Tatum. Now, listen, a lot of that, a lot of this, you know, down the stretch uh, concerns for the Celtics has been a pattern. So, obviously, there's reason for me to be concerned. But I think when you look at the execution-wise, obviously, it was stellar. But at the same time, on the other end, I feel like Kevin Durant, he slipped up. And that's the Celtics' fault, and I'll tell you why. All these double teams, he just looked riled offensively. And then on the defensive end, he had a big mistake. He just let Tatum roll right back. If you guys watch the replay, man, he lost Tatum on that one. Completely yeah. lost him. Give Tatum the props for making the play. Give Marcus Smart, you know, props for obviously having the Great having work. the patience to, to not only give up the shot but to make the right pass. But also, you got to give the Celtics credit defensively. For but rattling Sway, uh, Kevin Durant the way they did in that fourth quarter. He was rattling. But Sway, I'm telling you now, though, Kevin Durant was thinking what I think 95.7% of Celtics fans were thinking when Marcus Smart had the ball and the double team was coming. He's going to take a bad shot. Instead, yeah, yeah, he split the double true. team, found the open man cutting to the basket for the game winner. And to me, that was we, – we've been trying to talk about how Marcus Smart is such a better playmaker and things like that. That was just – I mean, again, I don't know whether it was just Marcus Smart making a, you know, no pun intended, smart play, or whether it was just luck. I don't I know. Just, but the bottom it was line incredible. is he got yeah, it done but, when it mattered most. Yeah, but Sherrod, three months ago, he takes that shot. Come on. He definitely yeah. takes that shot. I don't even so, know three months. I, I think, think most people way. take that shot simply because most they look at the do, clock. The clock. That, yeah. that, and if that, that, right. that, Listen, that was a shot that we would be pulling our hair out last season or previous seasons and Marcus Smart takes and, you know, whether or not he makes it. Give him you know, credit, you know, man. That was such especially a Especially after the third part. quarter that he had. Make especially look. after that third quarter. He was red hot. You would expect him to take that shot nine times out of ten three months ago. He's thinking like a point guard now. And it took a little right. bit because – and to his yeah. – you know, which is fair because he wasn't a true point guard. Now he's looking – playing like more of a point guard than ever before. And that was a point guard play. That, that, that was a – that was an un- unbelievable look. Perfect timing. Jason Tatum, heady play to cut to the hoop. He had Kyrie yeah. down there. Kyrie, Kyrie was just – what is Kyrie going to do at that point? He's going to, uh, you know, Tatum coming down and full steam ahead. And As soon as Tatum down. spun, uh, Kyrie's face. like, oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As soon as he He's spun, Kyrie, Kyrie's like, that's the yeah. game. But not, not only is Kyrie catching an L, but he's also that was so great. in the pocketbook, too. Put a little, little – uh, you know, oh. little finger salute to the fans in he's the third. Getting, he's getting two of those, yeah. Rod. Okay, you guys see the video after halftime? No. No, uh, he – Told someone to uh, let's just say uh, he asked for a, a, From, uh, a sir, favorite. A favorite you shouldn't, yeah, you shouldn't be asking. I mean, uh, fans after the, the, what, he, what was it? Kyrie, you suck. I think was the uh, was the initial yeah, comment. Kyrie, Kyrie, his his Kyrie retort was to... something very explicit and somewhat sexual. So I'm not going to say. He's been known to say that. He's he has said that before actually. On I the mean, show. So it's that's, be, yeah, uh, that's his thing. That's his go-to. Just watch yeah. it. Imagine yeah. what we would be saying, by the way. If 
you know, given like what what the, the Celtics struggles and inconsistencies earlier in the year, imagine what we'd be saying if someone if Tatum or Brown fell asleep on a cutter uh, with the game on the line like Durant did on that one with Tatum. My God, and you're right, Kyrie's just there. Like, what am I supposed to do at this point? There was nothing he could do. I mean, maybe he could have fouled the crap out of him. Oh, Joe, sway the lights. Uh, Damn it, yo! If it's, if it's not Brock, then it's TD. But Brock. Durant just but completely. Sick. Durant's completely out of the play there. I mean, he completely fell asleep, and he's looking at oh, it yeah. like one of these guys is going to shoot here. That's horrible, horrible, horrible by yeah. him. Wouldn't be surprised if KD in his postgame comments puts a lot of the blame on himself. Uh, and understandably so. I mean, he had a very atypical Kevin yeah, Durant kind of game. Baby. And I'm not talking about just the fact that he was 9 for 24 and he had six turnovers. I'm talking about just impact. He – just he was just not there. I mean, five points in the fourth quarter in a game where your team was right there on the cusp of stealing a win, not great. No, I was gonna say the same thing about Jalen, but he came through. Look, Jalen needs to be assertive in that fourth quarter when they were what was it, 0 for five to start, 0 for seven from the from the floor in the fourth quarter. I'm like, again, here we go again. But Jalen, he he took the cue, and and uh, this is something that was brought up um, during Emay's presser that he did have a conversation with him during the timeout, saying, "Look, you got to be more assertive, and especially because he, he hits the, the the big three, he hits the the big take to the to the rim. You know, it was a two possession game for quite a bit in favor of the Brooklyn Nets, but the Celtics they pulled through, man. They 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 kept their composure for sure. I, and, I was, and they, I'm very impressed. Very right, impressed. and they did. I thought I'm, they did a. And this will be my last point, John. I thought they did a good job of recognizing when Brooklyn was, you know, sleep at the wheel defensively. I mean, a couple of those yeah. drives that Jalen had. I mean, that shouldn't happen even in AAU ball where yeah. there's there's literally the guy that's supposed to protect the rim is just like he's just chilling out there. And Jalen is like, there's no one back there. Kyrie can't guard me one on one. I'm just going to blow past him and get the layup. And he's got right. four fouls. So I know he's not going to foul me. Yeah. Yeah. Flashback of uh, those practice sessions. You know, he's like, oh, this is all day, all day. And tomorrow, you're going to give me day. that much space. I'm out.